fire on the moon. I knew the moon landing was fake. Let's continue playing Kid Dracula for the original Game Boy. So yeah, this level basically takes place in hell, I don't know. It's kind of the closest thing you're gonna get to hell in a Kid Dracula game. A Kid Dracula game? There's like only two. And this is the only one we got, so unless you really, really like Kid Dracula, this is pretty much all you're gonna get. Anyway, yeah, fire level. Typical things come out of fire levels. Big fire. Pits of fire. Fire enemies. Fire squad. Hearts. Okay, well, that's typically not part of a fire level, but hey, I ain't complaining. Anyway, you're gonna need to use the bat spell a lot in this area to fly around and, well, not get touched by fire, because fire hurts last time I checked. I don't know, I usually don't try and burn myself on a normal basis, but I can pretty much say that fire is bad. Especially if you're Frankenstein. But yeah, there's these huge arcs of fire that keep going around the level, and you need to, you know, play it safe and time it right to... And don't get hit by fire, like I was telling you. Anyway, huge arcs of fire going around the level. You need to time it just right so you don't get singed by it. So you'll often have to fly above it for a while and then duck under. Well, this is pretty much the worst it gets in terms of fire levels. From here on out, this level's actually pretty easy. It's got a good boss fight at the end, too. That's why I like this level. Okay, if I recall correctly... Yeah, we're gonna need the umbrella for this part, because stuff flies at you from these volcanoes in the background, and you might as well whip out the umbrella. And, well, use your normal fireballs too, because these little, uh, fire puppies or something like that are running around, and you wanna blow them up quick before they have a chance to tag you. Anyway, just keep on moving, and just duck whenever you need- I don't think you can outrun those things, I mean, I bet you could if you were really lucky and good at dodging, but since I'm not. And I just want to farm this guy yet again for another coin. I guess he didn't drop any. Oh well. Moving on. <sighs> oh man, that face is still... I don't know. Okay, selecting the bat attack, because how else are we going to fight a boss? Come on. This boss fight's really cool, I gotta admit. It's got a good... You know, it, it doesn't seem unfair, and yet it's interesting. It's got a good background. You know, better than, like, the chicken fight or anything like that. Anyway, yeah, you're, like, fighting a fire dog. I don't even know what kind of monster he's supposed to be. You duck down underneath him, otherwise he's gonna hit you like that. And he'll jump back up in the air and send more dogs after you. You want to head into the pits and duck down to hit him underneath, and, of course, hit him in the air while you can. The bat attack, once again, great help here. If you're not using the bat attack, then what are you doing, man? You're just making it harder for yourself. Anyway, when the boss dies, he explodes into smaller puppies. I don't want to know how that's possible. Oh yeah, air jump. I'm awesome like that. Hey, I'm Kid Dracula, man. I don't know what you've been watching for the past six, five parts. If, you, if you're here to watch something else, you here get on out here, because this is all 100% Kid Dracula's greatness. Anyway, bonus game, and I wonder which one we're going to pick. Actually, we're going to pick something different this time. After the bad attack, uh, grab one. Don't worry, though, we'll play something different next. But pretty much at this point in the game, we have a load of lives, and that should help us out, especially combined with my previous knowledge of the game. So we ought to be good from now on, but still, you know me, I don't like bats, they have to die. Die from my dark experiments. Die in a jar in my room with only one air hole, and there's like 15 bats in the same jar. It's an experiment suffocation, I guess you could call it art in some weird way. I don't know. Catching bats is always good, and my net's gonna be worn out after all this bat catching. Well, three lives ought to be good for the last part. Anyway, let's play a different minigame this time. Because I guess maybe you'll want to see one, I don't know. I think I'll try... RPS. Which, when I looked at it, I'm like, okay, shooter game? I was thinking of FPS, but it's not. It's rock, paper, scissors. And, well, it's not except It's crapshoot at best, because it's rock, paper, scissors. Come on. Anyway. Alright, let's try this out. No, it's not. Don't lie to me, lady. Here's how to play rock, paper, scissors in case you've never, ever, ever played it before, which I think is impossible at this point. But uh, what's different is that you can actually defend yourself if you uh, lose the paper 
rock paper scissor war. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good. At See, I just I just cower anyway. Cause Kid Dracula is really a coward when it comes down to the wire. Eh! Don't touch me. Uh, <laughs> kind of hard to tell. I don't know, I'm not good at these things. See, I was rock. I should have been able to win that, but I was like, eh, don't hit me. Anyway. Am I gonna get killed? Yeah, I... No, if I take two hits, I die. I, I just tend to cringe. This this isn't going that well. Ow! Failure. Oh, fuck you, game. I've got enough lives. I don't think we'll see this lady again. Well, we might. Who knows? Whatever. Anyway, moving on, in the fortress in space. Oh, this level ought to be fun. Anyway, I'm the Hell Dragon. Join me next time on Let's Play Kid Dracula. See you later.